Bayes' theorem is a formula for reversing conditional probabilities. Recall that conditional probabilities are not symmetric. The probability of A given B is not the same as the probability of B given A. For example, the probability that someone can spell correctly given that that person can write well is likely quite high. But the probability that someone can write well given that the person can spell correctly is not necessarily high. Often when we deal with conditional probabilities, we will find the need to be able to reverse the conditionality. To reverse the conditionality of a probability, we use Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem says the probability of B given A is the probability of A given B multiplied by the probability of B and divided by the probability of A. Two other formulas that are often used along with Bayes' theorem show the relationship between conditional and marginal probabilities. The first tells us that the probability of an event A is the probability of A given B multiplied by the probability of B plus the probability of A given not B multiplied by the probability of not B. Finally, the probability of not A given B is 1 minus the probability of A given B. Beware that you do not use an incorrect formulation of this equation. The probability of not A given B is not equal to 1 minus the probability of A given not B. So with these equations, let's consider a problem. You work for an oil company and your company has a plot of land that may or may not contain oil. If the land does contain oil, when you drill a well on that land, there's a 60% chance that the well will strike oil. If the land does not contain oil, then when you drill a well on that land, the probability of the well striking oil is zero. The problem is, you don't know whether the land contains oil or not. But let's suppose that you believe there's a 50% chance that the land contains oil. We call this an a priori belief, or an assumption from which we start our calculations. So you drill your first oil well, and this oil well comes up dry. One of two things is possible. It's possible that the land contains oil, and this particular well just didn't hit it. Or it's possible that the land doesn't contain oil at all. What we want to know is, given that this first well did not strike oil, what is the probability that the land contains oil? Here's what we know. The probability of striking oil, given that oil exists, is 60%. The probability of striking oil, given that there's no oil there, is 0% and we believe that there's a 50% chance that oil exists. Our first well did not strike oil, and now we ask the question, what is the probability that oil exists given that we did not strike oil? Notice something interesting. The conditional probability in our question is the reverse of the conditional probability in the information we have. Any time you have a problem in which the conditionality of a probability reverses, you'll find a use for Bayes' theorem. So let's begin with Bayes' theorem. The question we're trying to answer is, what is the probability that oil exists given that we did not strike oil? Using Bayes' theorem, this is equal to the probability of not striking oil given that oil exists, multiplied by the probability that oil exists, divided by the probability of not striking oil. Now we know that the probability of striking oil, given that oil exists, is 0.6. That means that the probability of not striking oil, given that oil exists, is 1 minus 0.6 or 0.4. The probability that oil exists, we believe a priori to be 0.5. That leaves us to find just one number, the probability of not striking oil. Now there's nothing in the problem that tells us the probability of not striking oil. However, we do have conditional probabilities that involve striking oil. This suggests we can make use of this equation that relates marginal and conditional probabilities. Using this equation, the probability of not striking oil is the probability of not striking oil given that oil exists multiplied by the probability that oil exists plus the probability of not striking oil given that there is no oil multiplied by the probability that there is no oil. The first term, the probability of not striking oil given that oil exists, we already calculated as 0.4. The probability that oil exists, we assume to be 0.5. The probability of not striking oil when there's no oil there is 1 minus the probability of striking oil when there is no oil there, or 1.0. Finally, the probability of there being no oil is 1 minus the probability that there is oil, or 0.5.
Putting all this together, we have the probability of not striking oil, 0.7. This is the last piece we need to complete our Bayesian equation. And so we have the probability that oil exists given that we did not strike oil is 0.4 times 0.5 divided by 0.7, or 28%. With this number, we can now update our belief about whether or not the land contains oil. Recall that we started off by assuming there was a 50% chance that there was oil in the ground. We drilled a well, the well came up dry. We then ran these calculations and concluded that given that that well came up dry, the probability that the land contains oil is actually not 50%, it's 28%. We call this Bayesian updating. We update our belief about a probability based on things we observe. So notice we can now repeat the whole process. We have a plot of land. We don't know whether or not there's oil there. We do know that we have drilled one well and that well came up dry. And based on that information, we now believe there's a 28% chance that the land actually contains oil. Suppose we drill a second well, and that second well also comes up dry. One of two things is true. Either the land does contain oil, and by random chance we drilled two wells and happened to miss all the pockets of oil. Or alternatively, the land actually doesn't contain oil at all. What we want to know is, given that this second oil well also came up dry, what is the probability that the land contains oil? And again, we use Bayes' theorem. The probability that oil exists given that we did not strike oil is the probability of not striking oil given that oil exists multiplied by the probability that oil exists divided by the probability of not striking oil. The probability of not striking oil given that oil exists is 40%. The probability that oil exists is 28%. The probability of not striking oil is the probability of not striking oil given that oil exists multiplied by the probability of oil existing, plus the probability of not striking oil, given that there's no oil there, multiplied by the probability of there being no oil. The probability of not striking oil, given that oil exists, is 0.4. The probability of oil existing is 0.28. The probability of not striking oil, given that there's no oil there, is 1.0. And finally, the probability of there not being oil is 1 minus the probability that there is oil, or 0.72. Putting these numbers together, the probability of not striking oil is 0.83. We can now complete our Bayesian equation, and we find that the probability that oil exists, given that we did not strike oil a second time, is 0.4 times 0.28 divided by 0.83, or 13%. And so once more, we update our estimate of whether or not oil exists in the ground. We started off believing a priori that there was a 50% chance that there was oil in the ground. We dug a well, the well came up dry. Based on that, we updated our estimate of the probability that there's oil in the ground to 28%. We then dug a second well, and that well also came up dry. And again, we update our estimate of the probability of there being oil in the ground to 13%.